Since the coronation of William the Conqueror in 1066, Westminster Abbey has hosted every coronation of British royalty, including Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. The Abbey is a symbol of the connection between church and state. And this is the Cathedral of Royalty. So the building you see today is from roughly the 13th century, mid 13th century. Princess died to her funeral service was held here. Princess William and Kate Middleton, Princess Prince William and Kate Middleton were married here. And not only are kings and queens buried here, but you have Sir Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin, and Charles Dickens, just to name a few, are also buried here. Westminster Abbey, formerly titled the Collegiate Church of St. Peter at Westminster, is a Gothic Abbey church. According to tradition, a church was founded at the site in the 7th century. The building itself was a Benedictine monastic church until a monastery was dissolved in 1539. Between 1540 and 1556, the abbey had the status of a cathedral. Since 1560, the building was no longer an abbey or a cathedral, having instead the status of a Church of England Royal Peculiar, a church responsible directly to the head of state. The monks once lived in the cloisters, which date from the 13th and 14th centuries. A memorial fountain in the cloister courtyard commemorates Lancelot Capability Brown, an 18th century English landscape artist. It's Lady Crumb. The cloisters contain the graves of several abbots of the Norman church and also some clergymen and officials of the church, such as organists and workmen. Also, some actors and actresses who were not allowed to be buried in the main church. And those people are buried underneath the abbey, so they're actually buried here. The remains are here. Yeah. The Pick's chamber dates from 1065 to 1090. The room was used as the royal treasury. In the early 14th century, its altar was a workbench on which the annual trial of the Picts, which measured the silver content of their coinage, was carried out. The medieval tile floor dates from the 13th century. While this is a coronation church, not all coronations have gone smoothly since the first one in 1066. At the coronation of William I in 1066, when the crowd inside shouted their loud approval, the soldiers outside thought that a riot had broken out and set fire to the surrounding buildings. William became frightful and asked the Archbishop of York to complete the ceremony as quickly as possible. At the coronation of George IV, the crowd outside the abbey got a laugh when the king's estranged wife Caroline tried to enter the abbey and was locked out. At Queen Victoria's coronation, the Archbishop tried to force the ring onto the wrong finger of the Queen and she winced in pain. Having learned from past mistakes, when Queen Elizabeth II was coronated in 1953, the ceremony was very well rehearsed and went off without a hitch. In the Middle Ages, the choir was the scene of a vicious murder. During that time, criminals could seek sanctuary in the abbey. Once they were inside, the law could not touch them. In 1378, 50 of the king's men ignored the rule of sanctuary and chased a prisoner into the abbey. One of the soldiers dispatched of the prisoner and a monk who tried to rescue the prisoner. Westminster Abbey has been the burial site of more than 3,300 persons, usually prominent Brits, including at least 16 monarchs, eight prime ministers, poet laureates, actors, 
scientists, military leaders, and the unknown warrior. We are now going to see many of the beautifully crafted effigies, monuments, and tombs. Many dignitaries in the same field are placed together. There is a musician's aisle, poet's corner, where more than 100 poets and writers are buried or have memorials, a section for scientists, various areas for royalty, and more. Here in the North Isle of the Lady Chapel is the tomb of Queen Elizabeth I. She was the daughter of King Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, was born in 1533 and died in 1603. She succeeded her half-sister Mary I in 1558, and Mary's coffin is directly beneath hers. Queen Elizabeth was the foundress of the present Collegiate Church of St. Peter, the formal title for the Abbey in 1560, and her long reign was one of the most revered in English history. One of the most important graves in Westminster Abbey is the grave of the unknown warrior. There is a plaque inside the red silk poppies which reads in part, Beneath this stone rests the body of a British warrior unknown by name or rank, brought from France to lie among the most illustrious of the land, and buried here on Armistice Day, 11 November 1920, in the presence of His Majesty King George V. Sir Isaac Newton was an English mathematician, physicist, and astronomer who formulated the theory of universal gravity. His monument was unveiled in 1731. The monument is made of white and gray marble. Its base bears a Latin inscription and supports a sarcophagus with large scroll feet and a relief panel. The relief depicts boys using instruments related to Newton's mathematical and optical work. Oh. Charles Darwin was an English naturalist who was known for his theory of evolution through natural selection. He was buried at the Abbey shortly after his death in 1882. Notice how plain it is. Mm -hmm. 